In the fall of 2019, I took a course on the social impacts of climate change. There was one class that stuck out for me in particular. We studied the IPCC climate report in detail. It was bleak and heavy as expected, concluding that we had about 12 years left to turn things around. I was 20. In 12 years, I would be 32. I left that class with a pit in my heart and my stomach, but was expected to go back to normal as if that was another topic on the exam rather than a life-altering timestamp. That urgency was sharp and serious for me, but I returned to a world that seemed unchanged by it. Now fast forward to March 2020. The World Health Organization announces that the COVID-19 virus is a global pandemic. We all know what follows. An announcement with similarly sharp urgency that actually translated into action. There was an immediacy to the COVID-19 response that we've been told is simply impossible. So I asked myself, after decades of sounding the climate alarm, why one crisis and not the other? I was curious to hear from those who have dedicated their careers to advocating for environmental and social justice. From their perspective, my thesis asks how the Canadian federal government's response to COVID-19 can offer lessons towards a more bold climate action plan moving forward. I conducted 11 hour long interviews with leaders across civil society organizations that deal with issues like food insecurity, environmental policy and public health. I asked them to share their reactions, reflections and lessons learned from the pandemic that could inform a climate response that truly reflects the urgency of the threats we face rather than a superficial version we've often come to expect from Canada. A mentor once told me that hope in these conversations can feel abstract and that desire for something better can be stronger. So I conducted an imaginative futures brainstorming exercise. I asked them to tell me what their visions for a Canada that involved a pandemic level climate action response could look like. The results were a valiant display of the radical imagination. Visions of a Canada that embeds long-term climate thinking into all decision-making processes. A Canadian government that is held accountable for its climate promises. An economy that values the health of people and nature as a necessary interconnected metric of success rather than an inconvenience to be consulted when profitable. Today, three years away from that global pandemic inception and three years closer to the 12 year timestamp, we have an opportunity to reject the status quo. The results from this research are an entry point into a larger, more important conversation that intends to extend far and wide. In this moment of transition, we cannot look away. So I ask you, what have we learned from what we've been shown is possible? Thank you.